I was invited to go fishing for paddlefish in Montana. They're one of the largest freshwater species in North America and very high on my bucket list. They're filter feeders, which means catching them on rod and reel with bait or lures is nearly impossible. They mostly eat plankton. We had a very special opportunity to work with state biologists and net some of these giants. Check this out. We're going to go out here, we're going to deploy uh, a floating gill net, it's 150 feet long, we're just going to drift it down the river and what we're trying to do is intercept these fish that are migrating upstream right now to spawn and what they'll do is they'll hit our net, they'll get wrapped up in it, we'll pull it in, what we're going to do is get a length and a weight on the fish and we're also going to give them a jaw tag. Um, the reason we put a jaw tag in there is to look at you know exploitation, harvest, track uh, their movements and also to run population estimates. When you're in Montana and you're fishing with the state fisheries, you gotta wear a life jacket. So right now our net's drifting downstream. What we're gonna do is just watch these floats on top here. Once they start bobbing, you know, that's an indication that we have a fish in the net. And once we see that, we're gonna go to the net, pull it in, and remove the fish that's in there. Oh, we got a fish! Is it still there? Did you feel weight? Yep. We got a fish, baby! Whoa! Whoa we got a fish! He got out? He's right there! There he is! Oh! Oh, no, oh my goodness! Look at that look paddle fish! Oh! You gotta work fast here. 38, 38 and a half. half. Yo, we're gonna weigh him. 30 pounds. You were dead on Lance. 29. So they what, got cool little markings what, up here. What are those markings for? I'm not too sure, probably just some sort of uh... Is that more sensory? No, but if you see see these white oh, bumps wow. here, those What's are tubercles, that? sensory organs. Can you hold, can you hold, can you hold, I'm gonna let him go? Yep. That, that fish there was a male. Um, these paddlefish are sexually dimorphic, so which basically means our, our females are quite a bit bigger than our males. Our males typically average about 30, 35 pounds. Are they all born males and then turn females? No, no. Um, our females are much bigger. They average between 65 and 75 pounds. Wow. But, but like I said, they can obtain weights of exceeding 100 pounds. Wow. That was quick. It took minutes to get our first paddle fish. It was insane. So sometimes when the fish are migrating really hard and there's really good flows that are pushing these fish upstream, when they hit the net, they, they hit it with such force that they, they almost come out of the water um, battling that net just because they want to push upstream so hard. It's kind of cool to see. That's crazy. Yeah, very powerful fish too. Another fish right here. A little male. Right, when you close it, I'm gonna get some B-roll of it. You gotta get him untangled from the net real fast. A couple things I want to point out. You see the really small eyes it has. It's got very, very big nostrils. 39 and a quarter. Trying to tag in. It protects their gills. Guys, look at that paddlefish. We got two of them at the same time. Here, here we go. Easy pal. So the other thing with this fish, it was, it's a filter feeder. You know, so you can see you know, where it filter feeds. It has rakers in there where it filter feeds zooplankton. And you can see the elongated rakers back in here. Yeah. That's what it uses to filter feed. Wow. That's very cool. So these fish don't they don't they don't eat other fish. They're eating tiny microscopic organisms and they use that specialized mouth to just swim and filter feed. What direction are the paddlefish swimming? Um, right now they could actually be swimming in either direction. We're pretty much kind of in the middle of their spawning migration. Um, 
We could have some male fish that are still pushing upstream, maybe a few females, but there's also going to be some females that have already been upstream that have deposited their eggs. So they, that spawn are actually, up that, they spawn over that way. They, they spawn kind of all over this section. There's about 50, 60 river miles right now that these, these fish are utilizing um, for their spawning habitats, and they like to spawn on rock cobble habitats mm -hmm. and um, in congregations. And once they're done, you know, those females will push back down into the reservoir. We got a fish. Oh. Oh, he's still there. We got two? Oh, nice one. That we might have to open. Oh, there is one over there. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, he's going crazy. It's a giant. It's a giant. Oh my gosh. It's a monster. Oh my gosh. Dude, it's a freaking monster. Look at this beast, guys. How, this fish has got to be about 60, 70 pounds. She's pregnant. She's, She's full of eggs. Is it 100 pounds? Let's say 97. 97, 97 pounds. Seven. Look at that paddlefish, guys. What a monster. We got to get back in the water now. This is a pregnant female. She's full of eggs. There she goes. What a monster, guys. We got another fish on? Yeah. Okay. All right, play it. Watch, watch the tail hanging there on the side. Seventy-five pounds. Woo! That's a giant. That's a giant. Release it, nice, just nice and easy. Let her. Let her, let her, let her, let her. There she goes. We've caught a ton of huge paddlefish. We've caught in three paddlefish over 70 pounds, a bunch of small males. It's been an incredible day. Yeah, you know, it's to, to capture one of them big fish, you know, just the, the odds of getting it both to stay in the net for, for long enough to, for us to pull it in, but then just to get them into the boat is, is difficult. But uh, these guys have done a good job today. After we had finished netting our paddlefish, we headed back to the boat ramp and we noticed some other biologists with a very large tub of water. They had captured a super rare species of fish. Oh man, this is hardcore, people. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow! Look at that! Look at the! Look at, so what are those right here? The, the, the barbels? Yeah. So if you look at, you know, you're you're here to see the paddlefish. Yeah. And they're shaped kind of round like a cigar. Yeah. And this fish is flat on the bottom. So like when you guys were out there netting, you were netting on the top of the water. Yeah. We put nuts on the bottom because that's where this fish is. It's on wow. the bottom. There are only two ways to catch paddlefish: either snagging or netting. I tried snagging, I did it for many, many hours. I hooked one fish, unfortunately it got away, but it was still a lot of fun. I can't wait to get back to Montana and try it again. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time.